right, let's uh, just start off by introducing what's going on and we can just take it from the top of the road. Okay. Yeah, uh, my name is Mike Mixon, right? We buy golf clubs. Mike's Golf Shop. We buy golf clubs. Everybody knows that. <laughs> this is my buddy Kip Hanley, uh, PGA Tour in Tennessee, golf legend. And, uh, you know, I get the opportunity to, to be around him every now and then, and I thought, you know what? He's been around so many guys out there on the PGA Tour, that are, and he's got a lot of golf talent himself. So it's like he's won a bunch of tournaments. He can still play. Hits the ball awesome. <laughs> uh, what was your limitation? What kept me from being on TV? Yeah. Two, it wasn't hitting the ball. Two things. Driving it straight was a little bit of it, and just not having the right mental outlook okay. more than anything. Cause but you had got plenty of power. That was yeah, I had plenty of power. I could hit it pretty far back in the day. and. I had a great short game, putted good, and wedged it like dynamite. And okay. Some weeks I'd drive it great, and I usually won when I did. But I think now that I've been on tour it, and seeing those guys up close, it's more the mental. I just didn't handle the game properly. I was hyper uh, aggressive, and uh, just you couldn't have told me, though. You know, I thought I knew everything. Well, you would have had to have the right mentor for sure. Yeah. And that's the stars lining up. That would have took, you know, I had mentors with Mike Nams and my father and stuff and a few, a bunch of other guys in the game. But I wasn't easy to talk to when I was a kid. I knew everything. I thought I did. I didn't, but I thought I did, you know. I knew I was going to be, I knew I'd win the Masters two or three times at least. Of course. Didn't, didn't study in college and stuff, so. Well, the good news is, is you got a lot of golf game and you've been around the PGA Tour for 15 years as a caddy out there, and, you know, when you're not alligator wrestling. And <laughs> it's like you've, got a, you've been around a lot of guys. You've seen the guys really can hit the ball and stuff like that. And then, you know, there's people like me who just love the game. And, you know, I'm a musician and I mean, I'm an athlete in a musician's body. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, if I had any physical talent, I probably could do something. But. You know, the club kind of swings me, and so I, every year, I've been keeping a golf journal since 2000, and every year, of course, it changes the older you get, it's tougher. But every year, it's the same old thing for me. I always start with the same things and the same problems, and, you know, ev eventually it all collapses, and I just, <laughs> you know, pick up the club, and I'm, I'm just going to swing at it like yeah. a caveman, and then I start playing okay. So... But I'm always trying to improve, and I'm and 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 you probably know this, that it takes talent to play this game. If you ain't got it, you're in trouble. So yeah, yeah. Technique. Being, being athletic and big and strong sure as heck, heck helps. You know, yeah. helps a lot. Yeah. There's a few uh, there's a few guys that aren't very athletic well, that like, found you know, a way. I mean, you were out there with Brian Gay for a long time, and I mean he's mm -hmm. a little guy. I mean yeah. he's in awesome shape from what I've yeah, seen. Yeah, he's healthy as a horse. He looks in fantastic shape, and that swing he's got is awesome. And but he has a little bit of a power, what would be called a power limitation, I would say. Agreed. Yeah, he's even though he's changed his action to find a few more yards in his golf game, but uh, you know I wouldn't call Brian Gay a super athlete. Yeah. Guys may have been on tour for, what, 20 years now. Yeah. I wouldn't call him a super athlete. You throw a football, it might hit Brian right in the nose. I don't <laughs> know. I know he played golf all day every day with a mission, you know, and his yeah. old man had a mission for him, and he fulfilled that mission. So that well, part's in my cool. case, it's every single year. I'm like a lot of you guys out there. I want to play golf. I want to do better. I want to improve my game. I want to make the most of this season. And it's like here I am, got another chance. And I mean, I only have so many more chances at my advanced age. And plus, this is the first time you've ever sought out Kipper. I mean, really? Well, at a certain point, you make the you make the <laughs> connection of the dots, and it's like, okay, <laughs> I know that you're helping people now with their game, and I know that this is an opportunity you can reach out to Kip on uh, Twitter, and he can help you with your game. So this is an introduction to that kind of thing, and kind of maybe a glimpse into what you can expect with that. So. Uh, like I was telling you before with my game, it's the same thing every year. Uh, I, I always get out here and just try to just hit some little bitty just dead arm kind of dinky draws and just see if I can make contact and shape it a little bit. Because the problem in my game has been for many years that this club starts swinging me from about right here. Mm -hmm. And so everything, my right wrist is unloading. Yeah, that's super common. 
so my right wrist is unloading back in here and that club head's getting outside the line and yeah and now i'm okay what am i going to do i'm going to either hit behind it or i'm going to hit it thin and that's kind of what happens and then with a the driver what i wind up doing is i wind up teeing the ball way too high because that club is coming up when it gets to the ball and i and i wind up hitting the driver thin and it don't go nowhere really i mean i'm yeah if i catch it solid i can hit it out there maybe 235 or something you know yeah but if i if i do what i'm talking about and things go wrong down here and i hit that ball a little bit thin it's got a little cut spin on it and it's down there on the last groove and i i mean it's 202 with a drive so i mean I, i'm not trying to improve distance i'm not trying to do anything like that i just want to improve solid contact mm -hmm. because solid contact with these levers the way they work Get me plenty of distance. Yeah. So 202 is your, is that about what you are in the air? Is that what you're thinking? Yes. Uh, you know, if, I, if I'm warmed up and it's summertime and I'm going good, I can fly at 219 with a driver. Can you? Where it's at. So, How about that? Yeah. So, anyway. This is I, uh, what you're talking about. Uh, what you're talking about is, you know, with my teaching now, I'm having people send me their videos online and I teach them and I do a whole program where I break the swing down on V1 and then I mail back you know first I, I, I video me breaking the swing down draw lines then I go into my garage my makeshift little hitting bay that I've done where this hit right into a mattress leaning against the garage door and then I give them a program back okay. but what you talked about about the matched up this is what I see so much in my teaching I mean if I get 10 swings sent to me I'll, I'll have eight or nine of them with a shaft parallel you know uh, straight up and down to the ground with the, the grip laid back. But if you had a good action photo of a tour player, you know, the hands are gonna be more over the left thigh, shaft will be leaning a little bit with the ball on the ground for sure. Yeah. And, you know, having a little descending blow into the golf ball. Right. But most of, most of what I get to teach is this right here. It's yeah. to try and teach them ways to, you know, make this be the motor in the golf swing and not this. Right, well, seen it you the, the main thing i want to get to and the, the, the thing i think will be different about this video than most is i want us to concentrate on what's real mm -hmm. i'm not worried about my elbow i'm not worried about my knee you know i mean you, people get all crazy on all the stuff that's going on but we're loading this club up to put some momentum on it and then we want to deliver it the right way really is I, I, de I don't deliver the club the right way. I want to improve that, really, is kind of what I'm thinking. Do you think that's oh, yeah. a good improve? Or oh, yeah. I need to watch and see what you got going on. You know, I've seen your few of your swings on uh, your Facebook famous, you know, and I've seen you and your battles with your boys around town. I love keeping up with it. Yeah. I love you posting those. It's good. But, well, you want me to hit a few? Yeah, I see you got your... Uh, world famous helmet on yeah, out man. here today, so I'm glad you I'm wore that. I'm gonna start selling these hats online. <laughs> now we have to customize them. You know what I mean? They don't come like this right out of the box. You get, that's a it takes some work. Well, it costs 20 bucks. 